Hey, in this video, we're going to be doing a one-year review of the Ryobi 18-volt sprayer. Hey, if you like this kind of content, click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell to be notified of new content. Let's go! Hey, YouTube. This is Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Hey, I thought I'd take time to do a one-year review of the Ryobi 18 volt uh, sprayer that I use for Roundup and other, other kind of chemical applications for my yard. It's April here in Georgia and uh, everything's starting to turn green, including the weeds. So I, I, you probably saw some other videos that I did on edging and, and weeding where I bought the new 14 volt system. Well, that has really tightened up the edges, but everything on the other side of the edge from the grass, we have a lot of uh, either whether it's fescue that kind of when I was overseeding fell into the beds or whether it's just weeds. So I thought it'd be a good time to kind of walk through. I've been very happy with this. So what I thought we'd do is load it up with some Roundup and just kind of spray some weeds and let you kind of understand how it works. Now I live on a, a an eighth of an acre and this 18 volt battery inside of here will pretty much last an entire season. This doesn't do a lot. You've got uh, some, some ability to twist the edge and kind of run the pattern a little bit. We've got a start button here and then we got flaps here to open up the container down here if you want to wash it out. And then there is a measuring cup here built into the lid. I just dump an entire thing of pre-mixed Roundup in there. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and dump some Roundup in here and let's go and get started. All right, so you know, over the years I've used this uh, kind of Roundup stuff that I used with the handle in it. Uh, and you squirted it and it just kind of, he didn't have a lot of aim. He didn't really have a wand either that you could get all the way down. Now Roundup does make some disposable type products for this. But let's go ahead and load this up. It's pretty simple. You just open up the thing. And again, I talked about before, this did have some measuring capabilities on it. So if you're putting in some other type of chemicals, I pull this off. Makes a little bit of a mess. <laughs> and then we just kind of load this up. Now you're not supposed to operate the motor if nothing is in the actual tank here. We'll just kind of get it loaded up. All right, excellent. So this tank is a gallon. It'll hold all this pretty easily. So now this one, just throw this away. It's no longer good. Put our lid back on and we are ready to go. Again, the only other thing this thing really does is it has a couple options where you can kind of, if you want to, when you're, when you are, it's got, you know, obviously it's got the, the trigger, but you can actually push it forward and it'll hold it wide open. And then you've got some, here you can do some adjustments, so that's a, and then again some adjustments on the end. So, and then you got your power, which will prime this thing up and get it going, get everything up. So let's go ahead and set up and we'll do some weeds. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, got it loaded up with Roundup, we're ready to go. We'll just do a couple patches, it's gonna be a short video. So we'll go ahead and fire up, and as it pressurizes up, you know, make sure you have these things tightened as well, uh, where it comes into here, make sure it's not leaking out. Once it gets pressured up, you'll hear it go. Argh. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I edge this area here, so we're gonna spray all this down. And I got to set it at a very high, high, high pace here. And this is great. Normally you would pump this, but in this particular case, we're just spraying it down and we can do a large area in a very short period of time. Get good coverage. Very good coverage. All right, if we take a closer look at this, I mean, this stuff is really wet and it's covered good and God stinks of Roundup out here. But I'm, I'm really, really, really pleased with this. So this is a great, again, this is like $65. Put a link right here, go. So hey, thank you for your time. Um, again, this was a short video on using the 18 volt Ryobi pump system. Again, 65 bucks at Home Depot. I've been using it for about a year. Love it. Hey, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new content. Thanks and everybody have a great weekend.